Hey guys, welcome back or welcome if you are new here. My name is May and today I want to do a tag video. It is actually the 10 luxury items that I would add back into my collection if I were to lose my collection or just to start all over. It was created by Isabel Styles and my friend Mel tagged me in order to do the video. So thank you Mel. I'll make sure to leave her video down below for you guys to check out as well. Now Isabel kind of went into specific categories and what pieces from her collection she would add into those categories however my current luxury collection is not as extensive as hers is i've worked on creating sort of a curated collection and i do a lot of my research before i add in particular pieces and i want to make sure that i use my pieces when i have them so for that reason it was kind of difficult to pick just 10 pieces because i feel like every piece has a specific place or spot in my collection for that matter but stay tuned because number eight of this whole roundup will definitely come at a little bit of a surprise I'm gonna go in no particular order and I'm gonna start with one that I'm sure most of you will not be shocked to see in this video. And that is going to be none other than my Speedy Bandolier 25. Now, I think it's so funny. I have a couple of videos on this handbag and I recently did my one year review video. And I said that this is a great bag just to transition throughout different occasions. It was a bag that I took on a trip that we did to Turkey and turned out that one of our friends was actually getting married there. So we were fortunate enough to be invited to his wedding and be there in order to attend. And this was the bag that I opted to take to the wedding because I had to carry a couple more things than I originally planned. And so many people comment on that video that this is not a wedding bag. And guys, I know that it's just... Unfortunately, I had to carry a few more things than originally planned and I thought that the print wasn't too loud. I felt like the Damier Ben is a very classic print that you could transition both casually and a little bit more dressy. So for that reason, I thought it paired really nice actually with the dress that I was wearing and I opted to choose this bag to take to the wedding. It is not the ideal wedding bag and I totally understand that, but I just laugh at all the funny comments that I get on that video saying that this is totally not a bag to take to a wedding. So putting that aside, I don't wanna talk your ears off about this cutie. I do have a ton of videos on her so I'll make sure to link them down below but this would be the first item I think I would run off to get. I still think it's very reasonably priced for what you get. You do have the bandolier which you can style different ways. I did film a short in regards to that and it's already up on my channel and then you also have the option of also carrying it handheld like the classic speedy. I would definitely go for the same print that I currently have just because it is a little bit more carefree than the other Louis Vuitton canvases. Really quick, I also wanted to point out that I do think these are great videos for those of you that are starting to create a luxury collection or just wanna add specific handbags or pieces into your collection to refer to. I think if people are pointing out specific pieces that they will go out and repurchase if they were to lose it for any particular reason, definitely shows that that is a piece that is functional and is practical in their collection. The next one on my list are my uh, Chanel earrings. Now I've always been drawn to little cute Chanel CC studs but I wanted to find the perfect pair in order to incorporate into my wardrobe and that went well with my style. For being a fashion costume jewelry, these little pieces are not cheap, so I definitely did not want to spend over $500, $600 on an earring that I wouldn't be able to incorporate various times. And when these came out, I actually think I saw them first on Amber Ashley, and I knew that I wanted to go on the hunt in order to find them. I actually ended up finding them in a boutique here in my hometown of Miami. And it was so funny because as soon as I was walking out the door, the sales associate was actually talking to another sales associate and telling her I just literally sold the last pair. So I guess somebody was asking for them as well. But these have definitely been a staple in my wardrobe. Now item number three that I would run out to repurchase are my Valentino Rockstar sandals. These here are in the 60 millimeter heel height and they are the fully caged ones that go all around your ankle as you can see here i do keep them with this little plastic which holds up the strap of the sandal so i'll make sure to link that down below they're from amazon and super inexpensive but i love these sandals you guys i was very hesitant to add a designer shoe into my collection if you have been watching my channel for a little bit i have previously said it i am a pain in the butt when it comes to shoes 
So I was very scared of spending a good amount of money on a shoe and then have it not work out for me. And shoes don't hold up the resale value as good as let's say handbags and even some small leather goods. But I had been loving these shoes for quite some time. So I took a risk in adding actually the rose ones first, like the light pinkish ones. However, if I were to lose them both and needed to go out and replace them, I will ultimately go with this color. I feel like it's a lot easier to pair, especially with my outfits. And this color just goes so well with so many of my handbags. I also really, really like this heel high in particular. I think it's a great option if you wanna use these shoes, let's say for a day out. However, you still have a decent height in order to incorporate them during a night out event. I really enjoyed the concept of this video, just kind of sharing with you guys what items you would ultimately just run out and get in order to rebuild a curated luxury collection. However, as I was writing down the ones that I would purchase, I also thought about pieces that I wouldn't purchase. So let me know down below if you would actually like to see that portion of the video. I can definitely do like a separate video in regards to that and just share with you pieces that I have now in my collection and kind of wouldn't get rid of. But at the same time, if I had to go back to the moment that I was buying them, knowing what I know now, I probably wouldn't have added in. All right, so for this next piece, I'm kind of cheating a little bit, but hear me out. And that is going to be my Chanel Chanel my Celine luggage tote in the nano size in the color Dune. So as you can tell, I do have the nano size and it is in the pebbled black grained leather. And then I also have the color Dune and this one is in the micro size, also in a pebbled leather. But if I were to lose everything in my collection, the one that I will go out and get would be the nano size. However, in this beautiful Dune color, I love a great tan beige nude color handbag so for that reason i would love to add this piece in that color i love that i have mine in black just obviously because i was able to add two different sizes and two different colors I wouldn't have wanted to add just two different sizes in the same color. And I personally just love the Celine Silhouette. I think it's just a fun handbag. And in the nano size, I just think it's really cute and very practical as well. Having a crossbody strap also gives you a little bit more versatility on how you can style her. And right now, I'm ultimately really drawn to smaller handbags. So for that reason, I would go for the nano size. However, the Celine Micro was my holy grail handbag and I will never get rid of this handbag. But the option that I would go for if I had to just get a new one into my collection and I no longer had these two would be the Nano in the Dune size for the reasons mentioned. Now sticking with nude or beige handbags, the next purchase that I would go out and make would be for my Polen number one in the Nano size in this beautiful tricolored combination. Now, I know some of you might not consider Poland luxury, but to me, spending hundreds, thousands of dollars on a handbag is a luxury. So for that reason, she's on this list. I can't believe I waited so long to add this combination. I've only had her, I think, for about two weeks and I am obsessed. I switched into her and I haven't wanted to switch out of her. It is actually the bag that I am using right now. I just think that this color combination is not only so cute, but at the same time, it's very easy to style and pair with any type of outfit. Whether you like to wear a lot of color or whether you like to dress very minimal in black outfits like myself. I also love this style from Polen. I think the number one is not only one of their cutest styles, but at the same time, a practical one as well. Unfortunately, I have some in my collection that I can't say the same about, but this one here, I have have nothing but amazing and great things to say so for that reason I feel like the Polen number one would be a great little classic piece to re-add into my collection okay so moving on to the next piece and this is a piece that I feel is a perfect addition in order for you to curate a very classic luxury collection and if I had to choose one to go out and repurchase it would be my Salvatore Ferragamo belt this one here is reversible. You do have the black smooth leather on one side and then the camel leather on the other side. And for me, it is the perfect combination. I had been talking about adding this type of combination into my collection just because when I travel, I wanna be able to have both options, but I don't wanna carry two belts. I also wanted to go for a more minimal buckle and I feel like the Ferragamo buckle is just perfect. It's kind of one of those that if you know, you know, sort of into that silent luxury that everybody is now talking about. 
Don't get me wrong, you all know I love a good logo moment and we'll get to that in a moment. But for this one in particular, I just wanted to have something subtle that I can pair with all of my looks while on vacation and that I could also incorporate while at home. And personally for me, this color combination is just the perfect one that I could have chosen. They do have various color combinations that you can pick that can suit your personal style as well. But if I were to lose everything in my collection and had to rebuild from scratch, I definitely would go with this exact reversible belt to add. Okay, so we're almost nearing the end and the next piece will definitely be added more for sentimental reasons than anything. However, before I jump into that particular piece, if you are enjoying the video so far, then go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you do like the vibe around here, then please consider subscribing. So getting into the next item, and it is one that I haven't used in quite some time, and that will have to be my Speedy 35 in the Damier Ben print. This was my first luxury purchase, and even though it is not one that I currently use or gravitate to a lot, when I first added this piece, of course I did not put it down. I would carry this handbag everywhere and anywhere. It would come with me to the office, it would come with me to dinner, it would come with me to my parents' house. Anywhere that I was going, I was taking this cutie. I was so proud to finally be able to add kind of like my dream or my handbag goal into my collection. This handbag definitely humbles me every time that I look at her. She was a gift from my husband for our first wedding anniversary and I will never forget, she actually cost 565 euros. It is such a unique number, so for that reason I never forget it. But at the same time, it was an amount that to me was just crazy to spend on a handbag. And it meant a lot to me that my husband would go ahead and just purchase this piece for me, knowing how much I wanted to add a Louis Vuitton bag into my life, basically, because I didn't have a collection at that moment. So for that reason, even though I rarely gravitate to her now, I still would go out and purchase this piece. I think it is a very classic piece to have in a luxury collection as well. Whether you go for a larger size like the 35, or whether you opt for something smaller, I think the Speedy is very practical. And to be honest with you, this is a great travel size as well. The Damier Band print also giving you that carefree feeling of using it for a travel piece and not having to worry about it getting dirty. But overall, it would definitely be one of those pieces that I would run out to get. But let's get into that little piece that I said that would totally come at a surprise to you. And that is my Rosalie wallet or coin purse. I just uploaded a video right before this one in regards to this piece and that you definitely should watch if you are considering adding this little bad boy into your collection. But I do feel like the Rosalie coin purse is a great little wallet to have in your collection. I have various videos comparing it to other compact wallets and ultimately this one would be the one that I would pick. It allows you to fit all of the things that you would normally carry in a continental wallet. However, you do have a very small compact wallet which you can put into your larger handbags or easily transition into a smaller handbag as well. Let's get into another sentimental yet practical piece that I would go out and add. And this one is sort of a 50-50 as I was adding some of these pieces back into my collection. I was going online and kind of seeing the current prices of them. And this one really blows my mind. I would have to think long and hard to see if I would actually go out and buy this one. But she definitely makes it on the list of those things that I would like to re-add into a curated luxury collection. And that would be the mini pochette, specifically this Christmas animation piece from 2019. I was actually on some pre-loved website and you guys, they go for over a thousand dollars. So I need to be making a little bit more money than I'm currently making now <laughs> if I would consider adding this piece to be honest. I think a thousand dollars for a mini pochette is a little bit excessive but putting the price aside I love this little piece. I have mentioned it before if you are considering adding this one and money is not of an issue to you then I do recommend it because I do feel like it has a lot of practicality to it. You can use it as a pouch inside of your handbags. You can also use it as a little wristlet or as a little purse to carry like um, 
crossbody with a cute little chain and this one in particular for me just has a lot of memories we did live in Paris for about eight to nine months and not only was it my first mini pochette but it also had the beautiful backdrop of the Eiffel Tower and cute little Vivienne in her little car shopping at Louis Vuitton so it has a lot of like sentimental meaning to me Louis Vuitton was my first luxury piece. We lived in Paris. So for that reason, I would love to ultimately add this piece again into my collection. And I really do use it a lot. It is a good size for me because I do gravitate to smaller handbags. So it really fits easily in a lot of my handbags. And it does carry all of the essentials that I need to carry on the daily. And then last but not least for that loud logo moment that I was mentioning, I would run off and add a Burberry shawl into my collection. I got this one at the Burberry outlet here in my hometown, but it's definitely been a piece that I really love gravitating to and incorporating into my style. It's very lightweight, so perfect for me that I do live in Miami. I also feel like you have various ways in which you can style this particular shawl. I did do like a reel on my Instagram a while back sharing with you guys a few of those, so I'll make sure to pop it somewhere on the screen. So if you do like accessories and just adding a specific touch to like your outfits, I do think that a shawl is a great option to go for, and that is the primary reason why I would run off and add this one into my collection if I was starting from scratch so that does it for the video you guys let me know what pieces you will ultimately run off and get if you were restarting your luxury collection whether it be for sentimental reasons or whether it be just because it is a very practical piece that you do use on the daily or that you enjoy having in your collection i will go ahead and leave two other videos linked here for you guys to check out next as always thank you for taking some time out of your day to join me today and i hope to catch you in my next one bye everyone